A lot of collar chokes available. That's not here. Look, you guys got on the shin. The reason why this is needed is because he's going to fight in order to prevent you from extracting his arms because you have access to the net. Okay? If I want to do this and this and this and this, I want to go here or here or here, 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 here and it's going to be a fight right here. Okay? For the arm. I'm not going to just be sitting there and just flopping out. Okay? Because it's going to be a fight to separate the hands while he's probably going to be bridging and so forth. But it's going to be a fight that you need to be ready to alternate from right to right, left to left. Okay? So as I go here, he may reach and save his arm right here. Pull it back. Okay? And I need to pin it. From here, I pin it here. He turns. Okay? And I let him turn. And grab here, here, and I get to an S mount right here. Look, left hand grabs that collar. What do we have? One B. So I was, I was thinking one B. Sorry. One B. Yeah. Sorry. Look. Under the, under the hand here. Under hook, and then I go inside my arm. Not over, because this is one A. You can pull that over. Pull it over both hands over here. Oh, sorry. And then you hide it. Now pull it away. And you tilt towards the head. One B is the way to go. It goes under your form. Okay? If I go over, it's fairly easy for him to reach. I can still finish it, but you see how easy that is? Okay? If I go here and he pulls it out right here, put it through here and then go underneath here. But now from here, I'm going to lift my head and move it towards his feet. So it's my hips that pull. I'm not choking them this way. Okay? You have one A, you have one B, you have the zipper choke one C, but for the zipper choke, you really need C here. You have one D. Yes. And then you have one. So you have one A, one B, one C, one D. Got to be S mount. S mount. Let me get here. Went here. He saved his arm. And went here. I need to get to the S mount here. And I want to be sitting on him here. Reach here. Posture up. One B. Just go for that one B. See how pulls his head that way. One B. You get fancy for a bow and arrow here. Hook right here. One, two. And then tilt it this way. I'm pulling myself this way here. He pulls my arm all off his head. We have arm marks right here. Okay. Or You got this one here, here, here. You got the back. Stay nice and tight right here. Okay, I'm messing with this here. Look. Right in here. Okay. He doesn't really have anywhere to go, but it feels like he can move his head up through this V. And watch your way. Look, and this leg, like a roller coaster bar, no thumbs, head here, because maybe, he's going here, maybe, here. But this leg is pulling him in, as I have figure four seat there, okay? I'm gonna open up my elbow. This hand grabs his shoulder. Got your lapel here. And just feed it right here. You shouldn't even see it. Okay? From here, I move my head back and slice it right here. It should feel like he can lift his head through that hole. But what I wanna do is I wanna push it back with my hands this way. Right here. And then my leg comes over. Yeah. And right over left. Don't go for this. 
There's really not much you can do to remove this leg off your head, off your head. And as you lean back, this is the belt. It's tight. And it should. So you can do that. And in the worst case, if he sees it, like Dan showed it, right here, and he pulls it over the head, Go S mount, go back, do whatever you want. One, two, three.